Hey everybody, welcome back for another review. And up for review, I got Jackie O's Oro Negro. This is oil of Aphrodite infused with cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, oak staves, habanero peppers, and cinnamon sticks. Um, oil of Aphrodite is a phenomenal stout, and this variation, um, I've had this before, really, really impressed with it. Um, this just hit the market recently. And this also has walnuts and condition on spices. Um, even 10%, um, you know, Jack Hughes, their barrel age program, I've said before, it's phenomenal. Um, they do make a barrel age version for this. I haven't had it yet, but I would really, really like to. Already did the pour, and it comes in a pretty dark. Um, it's not like, you know, motor oil dark, but it's a, it's pretty dark. Um, tan tint to it. Um, about an eighth to a quarter of an inch creamy head on it. Um, some decent, um, you know, lacing there. There's a little bit of an alcohol lacing going on. Um, aroma wise, um, definitely get, um, you know, the smoky malts, charcoal-ish. Um, some different type of spices, maybe like a little bit of a mixture of a coffee and chocolate. There's like a brown sugar sweetness also to it. smells um it smells like it's a very very bold beer um it's been a solid year since i've had this so i really don't even remember what this tastes like so yeah smells good um let's have a sip mm. wow there's a lot going on Wow. All right, starting off up front, you know, the um, the real real thick, um, the mouthfeel on this is super thick. Um, you get smoky malts um, like a charcoal. Um, yeah, you can you can definitely pick up some of the habanero warmness. Um, definitely some vanilla and oak mixed in there that really really works well with everything. Um, yeah, wow, there's a lot going on with this. This is very, very complex. Um, yeah, you can, the cinnamon, I just picked up some cinnamon there to finish. I have to have another drink. There's a lot to uh, comprehend going with this. Yeah, wow, real, real nice punch of cinnamon at the finish there. That was really nice. Um, the combination of the vanilla and the cinnamon leaves like almost like a, a maple syrup flavor, and I really do not believe that um, there is no no maple syrup added to this. Um, yeah, it starts off, um, you know, with, with all the malts. Um, you get like a brown sugar mix with the cinnamon and vanilla and cocoa, creates a real nice, not overly sweet, but um, a very noticeable, um, a very bold. Um, you know, sweetness um, works really well with the malts, kind of, you know, sweetens up and uh, works with the smokiness that the malts bring. Um, the pepper, the habanero is, you know, very, very mild. This beer is not hot in the least bit. Um, uh, this is one of the more, um, more masked alcohols. A lot of Jackie O's beers, especially fresh, the alcohol it's very, very upfront, and a lot, a lot of the beers I believe are overpowering. But um, this, you know, as being as fresh as this bottle is up front, the habanero just provides a little bit of heat. But the heat is very consistent all throughout the drink. Um, a huge cinnamon at the finish, um, you know, much like a lot of like double IPAs and whatnot. Like you get the pine and orange grapefruit that really coats the tongue and leaves the resin. Well, this leaves a ton of cinnamon. Um, very pleasant. Very, very nice to drink. Yeah, wow. Um, there's just so much going on. Um, this is um, this is a very thick, heavy mouthfeel. Um, it's almost syrupy, like, and it really coats the mouth and tongue. Um, and for being uh, ten percent, like I said, the alcohol is masked very, very well. Um, you just get a, 
a very slight amount of alcohol in the finish, but uh, mostly smoky malts, cinnamon, vanilla, oak. Everything is just, um, it, the balance on this is absolutely amazing. This is one of the best beers I've ever had from them. Um, now I'm dying to try the barrel aged version. Um, a buddy of mine, um, he goes he goes down there a couple times a year, so um, he, when you watch this, go ahead and uh, reserve a couple bottles for me if you can. Um, the walnut aspect, though, is the only thing lacking because there's so much going on with this. I I can't pick out any type of walnut, um, and if I do, I'm mistaking it for like maybe malts or whatnot. Um, but maybe maybe it's adding that extra amount of uh, like that smoky charred charcoal sort of flavor. I'm gonna guess that's what the walnut's doing is doing to this beer. But other than that, I cannot single out the walnut in this. Um, and that's probably my fault for uh, the lack of, uh, you know, not the world's greatest palate or whatnot for me to be able to distinguish that. But um, but nonetheless, awesome beer. I love the balance on this, and I love how complex it is. Um, this one is going to get a 98 for me. This is an A+. Plus. This is a pleasure to drink. Absolutely awesome. Um I wish I could distinguish the walnut out of it, you know, a little bit more. Um, but, like I said, that, that might be my shortcoming on it. But, nonetheless, um, everything about this beer is phenomenal. Um, this is one of the best beers that they make. Uh, this is Jack Yeo's Oro Negro. 10% uh, stout. And, 98 for me. A-plus beer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next review. Thanks.